I'm going to define a, a known variant called coloring, and then for homework, then it'll be good. We're going to you're going to be able to compute this invariant for uh, the knots I drew, okay? And then next time we'll talk about more about knot colorings, and and this can lead to some some very interesting things. So. Uh, and not not coloring. So this is a definition. And not oh, a coloring oh. Do you, do you, in Russia do you say color or color? Uh, no, I know. No, I know the I know the Russian, but I'm wondering do you spell you spell with the U. So do I where I'm back home in New Zealand. A colouring of a diagram is for each of draw picture while I define it. Alright, so given a diagram for a knot, it's it's like so let's Given a diagram for a knot, a coloring, it means for each arc, so here, let me just, just describe what I mean by an arc. If I, have a, if I have a diagram, then can we see what arcs there are? Well, just if I start on the knot, start on the knot, and I don't fall off that arc, then that's an arc. Okay, so this is one arc. Okay, so an arc just looks like that. Okay. This guy here is another arc. Okay. Arc. So a colonial diagram means each arc of the diagram. Has one of three colors. Раскраски в три цвета. Не обязательно все три цвета присутствуют, но всего три краски в нашем распоряжении. And let's call them. Let's make them red, blue, green. Just needs any. Um, one of three colors such that, oh, I rubbed it out, such that, one, uh, at least two colors appear, and two, whenever two arcs meet, when at each crossing, each crossing uh, either three different colors come together or the same, all the same color, or only one. So let me just let me draw a picture. So I have some crossing, crossing. Either, either I have three colors coming together, or I have all the same color. Now a couple of examples, and then then uh, we'll have homework. Oh, no. I'm sorry. And what about the unknot? Uh, you, you, the first two, no, the, no. these two colors appear, but how how can we color an so, unknot in two colors? I mean, the the most basic form of unknot. Yes. Just so in this definition, 
the unknot does not have the that diagram is not uh, coloured. So it's just a it's just a matter of how you just just de define it. But let's go with this one. Вы могли разрешить одноцветную, но тогда было бы три одноцветные раскраски. Ну и они у всех узлов три одноцветные раскраски. А вас интересует разница в количестве раскрасок, поэтому или всем узлам разрешать, или всем узлам не разрешать. Это на самом деле на суть не повлияет никак. Oh, no, for the unknot. Yes, uh, I mean the unknot. Well, an 8, which is a diagram uh, in the shape of uh, 8 of the number. Yeah. No, it isn't colorable. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 I'm sorry. Well, no, so let's do some examples. So, this. And let's, okay, and let's do. No, I mean the one with, yeah, the one with two fractions. This is called the figure eight. Okay, and your homework is going to decide, so are these colourable? So, oh, is this either colourable or not colourable? Colourable or not? Colourable or not? Sorry. Okay, colorable or not, so... So these are just diagrams, these are diagrams. Is this diagram colorable? No. 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 So why isn't it colorable? Because, because there are it's two, only, only one. Second. There's only one arc, or it's a circle. Okay, and I need to have at least two colors. They're not colourable. Uh, what about the trefoil? Is that colourable? Yes. Let's give it a shot. So we can read. If it's going to be colourable, then I have to have a different colour coming out. Or it has to be red. Green. Green, not yellow. Ah. By my, by my definition. <laughs> okay, now let's look at each crossing. Each crossing, do I have number two satisfied? Three colours coming together. Three colours coming together. Three colours coming together. And what about this example? Can we colour that? That's the that's a single arc, so we can't actually color that. No, you can only color an arc in uh, one color, and you're using both green and yeah. blue. Yeah, so it's the only same arc. It's gonna be the same. It's the same guy. Do you see? Yeah. I didn't jump, make any jumps. So still, still not colorable. That's good. Okay, but all right. So next time we'll look at proving, proving that uh, you can't change your diagram for the unknot by deforming it to change whether or not it's colorable. So so next so all right. Let me let me finish now. All right, all right. Now we conclude. So next time. So firstly, H is uncolorable. Uncle, would you like to? Oh well. So I was going to say prove that it's not uncolorable, but okay. So your claim is the third ray is not colorable. Do you do you, do you think you can put together an argument? Which of the colors are green? Are they? Do if you want colors, uh, here. Uh, it's a uh, let us consider uh, uh, this arc and this arc and are different. New model options. This 
is green and this is red. Then this is blue and this is blue. Uh, because it is red and it is green. So we have uh, a bad cross. A bad cross, yes. Two bad crosses. Model in the first case, when the red and green are the same color. And if they are not the same color? If they are red, it's red. If it is... No, no, it's just red. Do you see red and green? Yes, it's red. If it is red, then it is red too, because we have this cross. And because it is red and we have this cross, it is red too. And... Ребята, если это просто перебор случаев, ну, большая диаграмма, там чуть-чуть побольше случаев, но в принципе это все. So was it not colorable or was it colorable? Not, not colorable. colorable. So something... Okay, because it's all read, I'm looking at it's all read. <laughs> no, there was a proof, but... There was a proof yeah. involved too. That's not that's not the proof. Just looking at the picture. Uh, so so for homework, I like you. Well, I thought I had another sheet, but that's. So look at this table, and I like you to decide whether or not diagrams are colourable from zero one up to seven seven. Seven seven. So I, I thought I'd print it out next to sheet, but here are some of them, but these are more complicated. So just uh, draw out these up to 7, 7. So by that means 7, 1, 7, 2, 7, 3, 7, 4, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 7, 6, 3, 6, 2, 6, 2, uh, 6, 1, and down. Okay, our colourable. And next time... That is to say, it doesn't depend on the choice of diagram. And we'll do lots of... <laughs> yeah, there's actually a lot to do with, with colouring, so this will be quite fun. Um, are there any questions? About homework. So, uh, we only have to determine, just, just determine to which of these yes. are colourable. We don't have to do anything with this. No, no, I, those are just some um, other knots we can work with later on. Um, I thought I'd got it from seven, 1 to 7-7, seven, seven, but you can see at least you've got some of the 7-7, seven, seven, so that's helpful, I guess. Uh, if you want, you could try the more complicated ones, but... Все равно потом тут варианты намного более сложные и интересные, поэтому это такая просто тренировка ну, для начала. No. <laughs> yes, 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 so, so, right, so, that, yeah, so the initial idea, I, I'm, firstly, I'm not a physicist, but uh, I can give some idea of an answer. So certainly, yes, string theory has brought back knots, another application to knots of physics, and certainly knots are, have all sorts of applications in physics and chemistry, just not the, the way it was initially envisioned. So initially it was believed to be, there was, there was a theory about the ether and um, not, not, uh, chemical elements being constructed from knotting vortices. And so there's that way in which uh, knotting was supposed to be involved. But that, was, that wasn't right. But certainly much later, knot theory plays different roles. In, and certainly in chemistry, um, next week we'll be talking about chirality. Uh, so in mirror symmetries are knots. And that plays, plays a role certainly in chemistry and even biology because... Uh, 
DNA not. So, so there are certainly many applications, but uh, that, the, the initial one turned out to be wrong. So I was just curious that that... So you, you build a theory about knots, uh, so your, your motivation turns out to be wrong, but it turns out later on that what you, what you found out about knots is useful in all these other ways. And so that's an interesting way that science can sometimes work. Хиральность это вот что такое? Это отличие между правой и левой ладонями, то есть направление вращения. У вас есть направление вращения, так сказать, ввинчиваясь, и наоборот вывинчиваясь. Понятно, да? И вот э, два объекта, они могут быть конкурентны, но помещаться один в другой при помощи э, симметрии относительно плоскости. А мог, могут совмещаться движением, таким непрерывным движением. Хиральность называется. По-русски, э, к сожалению, одного слова нет. По-русски иногда говорят движение, сохраняющее ориентацию, движение, не сохраняющее ориентацию. Короче, это по-русски. It's colorable or it's not colorable. So it's just binary. But you're right. But now, so already we know that these two are different. But these two, we haven't decided if these are different. So maybe that's colorable. Uh, so maybe there's a different number of coloring. No, that's yeah, not going to work for this one, is it? So what about if you pick... So the number of columns isn't going to work for that one. Um, but what if you have another... If you have a triple and you have another knot that has that is also colorable, and you want to decide if they're different, you might be able to decide that this has... How many colorings? Six. This has six colorings. And if a different knot had a different number of columns, then that would be decided as well. And the other... But now... How can you decide that that's not the same as that? There is a way in terms of, there might be a way in terms of colorings, where instead of looking at three colors, you look at a different number of colors. Yes, five colors. You already know five colors. So you can always, already find stronger invariants just, just from the initial idea of coloring. And so we'll, we'll look at that next week. Now, homework bonus, if you can just find out where these are on the table. I'll keep them here. This is... Right. So, so everyone... <laughs> can, right. Confirm Maxine's computer. I can tell you why it's 0.